the crap strap, the number one necessity for doing number two outdoors. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I went looking for the weirdest camping and backpacking gear I could find. Kind of feel like Sasquatch. What I found was interesting to say the least. So let's check it out. Okay, if you like sleeping in your clothes, then you will love the suck bag because it's basically a sleeping bag suit that you get into and wear while you sleep or do whatever you want while you're in a sleeping bag. I kind of feel like Sasquatch. I wonder if I could uh, go run through the woods and scare some people. To which, what other sleeping bag can you say that about? Suck bag makes running through the woods easy with zip off feet so that you can wear your regular shoes or you can close it up to stay warm through the night. But not too warm because suck bag is only comfort rated down to 44 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes sense because any more insulation and you would look like Baymax from Big Hero 6. But seriously, this thing weighs over four pounds, so you aren't going to really take it backpacking, but it could work well for car campers who hate to miss fun by the campfires because all they want to do is crawl inside a sleeping bag. With suck bag, you don't have to choose one or the other. Speaking of insulation, you don't need insulation with the Aurora, Aurororo, Aurora, 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 I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Aurora is heated clothing company that uses batteries to power heating elements inside of a vest. Look, I understand why you might want a heated vest. It sounds great, except it has the same problem that every other battery powered device has. The charge only lasts so long. If you only go out into the cold for short bursts, great. A heated vest may help reduce bulky insulation but if you want to go out for any significant amount of time, once you run out of battery, all you have left is this synthetic insulation to keep you warm. And the real kicker is you don't need a heated vest because you make your own heat. The problem is losing it, but that's where insulation comes in. The more insulation, the more you can keep your own heat. People on Everest and Antarctica don't use heated vests. They use good old fashioned down that will continue to keep you warm long after all your batteries die but the red glowing logo is pretty cool. The crap strap slogan is the number one necessity for going number two, but it should have been don't skip leg day. This is quite the leg workout is all I'm saying. Like I'm gonna get done with this and I'm gonna have a hard time sitting on a regular toilet. Seriously though, I hike a lot and there's nothing compared to the leg workout that you get from just trying to hold a squat with the crap strap. After using it a handful of times just to film this video, my legs were sore for days, no joking. It's really difficult to hold a squat like that <laughs> as opposed to my typical backcountry pooping position which I actually find evacuates the bowels much faster than sitting on the toilet at home. Now, you could straighten your legs, which is much more comfortable, but I don't really feel like I could relieve myself that way, and no, I didn't really try. But the crap strap is kind of funny, and ultimately I think that's the only reason that it sells at all. Friends buying it as a gag gift for their hiking or hunting buddies. At 50 bucks, just save yourself the cash. And now it's time for my favorite thing on this list of weird gear, the Trekker's Friend hiking trailer. So I saw this thing sometime last year and really wanted to give it a try just to see if it would work. And it actually did better than I expected. It went up and over rocks, over tree roots. It would go up and downhill without much of a problem. I only had a couple incidents where it accidentally flipped over, which was probably because I was going over too tough of terrain, which this thing is designed so that you can take it out of trailer form and just carry it like like a regular backpack, wheels and all. In fact, it is just a regular backpack. You connect the wheels and the upper frame to a backpack that you already own. And then you use your trekking poles as sort of the, the tongue of the trailer. What would backpackers do without trekking poles? Everything needs trekking poles. And I was pleasantly surprised at how well this thing worked. A little bit of a step down here, see how it does. <laughs> Not a problem. Roots, rocks, Uphill, downhill, hiking trailer, can do it all. I intentionally packed a heavier pack than what I typically carry just to see how the trailer would do. How much weight is actually riding on my hips? Let's see. <laughs> not even, not even eight pounds. I had close to 40 pounds in my pack, but only had eight pounds of load on my actual back. And when I finally did carry this pack like a pack, there was a significant difference. Imagine going from eight pounds to 40 pounds in less than a minute. 
Now, the thing that really makes this impractical though is the rigging. It's just a couple of metal bars that use multiple straps to so attach it to your pack and then hold it in place. It took me several minutes to convert my pack into a trailer and once it's in that state, it's difficult to get in and out of your pack. Not to mention it's difficult to just turn around on the trail and then you have to worry about your pack rubbing against the wheels. The trailer is really doing a great job. There is one little problem though is you're not supposed to let anything touch the wheels or it's supposed to like really burn through whatever's touching it pretty fast and I think I've got one little side pocket back there touching the wheel but it doesn't seem to be touching it real bad and the trailer is not like I haven't even tried to take it off yet but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be real conducive to taking it on and off easily and so I've been really hesitating to go back there and check that pocket to make sure it's not rubbing up against the wheel and I've just kind of been like it's probably fine and so if it's not I'm gonna be a little irritated but I'm hoping it's fine and that doesn't even take into account that anything with wheels like this trailer is forbidden in wilderness areas which is 90% of the areas that I hike in oh and it's like 200 bucks so even though it's cool and it was fun to play with it's not really practical for actual backpacking but that was the intention behind this video to find some gear that was a little strange to have some fun with if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below to see even more weird gear that you might actually want check out this video right here like subscribe and do all all those other things and as always thanks for watching but the red glowing but the red glowing logo the red glowing logo <laughs> the red glowing yoga lo yo <laughs> the red glowing yoga